Okay, so for step number 34, we have three new parts. We have the other side of the cage, we have the other sway bar holder, and we have the cap for the, I don't know, let's call it the trunk. <laughs> I think it's just to hold uh, some other stuff later on if you choose to add more electronics or something. Okay, so I'm going to assume that we are going to replicate what we have going on over here. So let's slide the you know let's go ahead and put the cage together first here as I drop it on the floor. Excuse me. Uh, getting a little bit of fumble fingers here. So okay let's go ahead and slide this uh, unit down into here. And this one down into here and up and over to the little adjustment area. And pop the little bucket holder in there. And at this point, let's go ahead and put a couple screws in to hold this. Going to put one into the back of the bucket here. Put one into the front of the bucket, which is this one here. Make sure everything's all popped and lined up and into position where it belongs. Now we'll take the little sway bar holder and that's going to go over this. Oops, let's turn it around. And that one goes into here. We'll pry that up and drop it down in there so it lines up like so. Put a screw in there to hold it. Checking everything to make sure it lines up. It's all good. Okay, now let's put our last screw into here. we got it all. We have one, two, three, four, five screws. One, two, three, four, and we missed a screw down here. Okay, that's why we always count. Get that bottom screw in there. Now, that is what we're looking like. Everything looks square and lined up and good. Now let's take the little top here and see what direction that goes on. The little pointy end here goes to the pointy end here. And we'll use the two littler screws, the smallest ones. Actually, no, we use the medium sized ones. We got done using the long ones. These are the 12 millimeter that go into here. Get those stuck. 
started. Unless you're really talented with a electric, uh, I would probably just do these by hand. Unless you're really used to using these on plastic models. Because it's really easy to strip screws out. Okay. Everything's on. Looking good so far. Now we need to put the screws into these little puppies here. And it's showing four screws. So we need to put some in here and in here. It's looking like these are adjusted to the lowest position. So let's go ahead and uh, just follow the instructions, put them in the lowest position, and I'm sure that the adjustments for these will come a little bit clearer to us later on. Get that started. Just making sure it's uh, in the lowest position there. We'll put those on just until this touches. We'll do the same on the other side. As you can see as I tighten it down, they close up and you just want to go till they touch. And then let's do the same for these two here. And again we're going to adjust it to the lowest position. Put our screw in. Not sure what that adjustment is for yet. So have I mentioned fast eddy bearings lately? Have I mentioned RC Crawler lately? Well, I just did. So, have I men mentioned Axial lately? So you've got to pay the bills while we're building our wonderful car here. Okay. It looks like we are done with this step. Yay. That was a little complicated for fumble fingers like me. There we go. And on to the next step. Okie dokie. Now on to step number 35. Forgot a couple parts here that I need to put in. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this. We are building the sway bars. And this is the sway bar here, which was in your metals package. And they do have threads on them. So, let's start off actually by building two of these units here. And you're going to grab the parts off of the tree, which are the AX31135s. Now, if you take a look at them, they have a rounded portion here. And then this portion here is not quite so round. It's got a little square edge on there which is important. On the square edge, we're going to put AX31135s, which are the little balls here that are much like the ones we used earlier, except for there is no flange on them. And you can see here's the ones with the flange that go onto the other side. So, let's go ahead and put the non-flanged into the portion that has the square. I'm going to push that in. I'm going to do that on both of them. So the non-flanged ball into the end that has the square on it. Like so. And then 
we are going to put the flanged ones into the bottom. Okay, so we have that done. We've built two of those. Now, it looks like we take these two pieces here, which are the AX31138s, and we look for the portion that has the little cutout in here and the nub, and that nub goes to the inside as we push this through, and then it sets down into the unit there, like that.